Millions of people carving out some time for Halloween fun this weekend. Little ghosts and goblins already dressing up for trunk or treats. And this weekend going door to door for some candy. KBK's Skylar Soto had some tricks and tips on ways you can keep your kids safe. Trick-or-treaters will be roaming the streets this weekend, meaning we all need to take extra precaution. The number one cause of injury or problem on Halloween is usually uh, getting hit by a car is the biggest thing we should be worried about. Dr. Mortensen says the main thing we can do is to make sure those little goblins are well seen. We want them to have, you know, things like the little glow sticks, flashlights, dress them in light colors use reflective tape, things like that. Or some kind of light up something on their costume so that they can be seen. And for those who will be driving door to door past five. Be aware during those hours to be watching out for things like that a little more than usual. And once you've gotten enough candy, parents, make sure you do a check. Make sure that the candy that you're receiving, you know, is wrapped in that packaging. Anything that happens to um, open up, I it's recommended that you go ahead and toss that. Maybe when you get home, you can swap out the candy for candy that maybe you already purchased and you know is safe. Then once it's checked, beware of the sugar rush. As a doctor, I kind of have to say to not go overboard. I always tell parents I wouldn't not let your kids have the candy, but maybe let them have so many pieces on Halloween night and then put the rest up and save it for desserts and treats throughout the next few weeks instead of making ourselves sick on Halloween night. Skylar Soto, KLBK News.